So, this has been our lifestyle until now. Traveling to the most beautiful places, the most popular destinations, and to the most remote places you can find. A luxurious lifestyle in Dubai with many benefits and a great salary. And what do we say? We quit. Okay, this started already a while ago. Over the course of these years, we started feeling that we needed a change in our life. And believe it or not, it happened way before me and Natalie met. We began feeling that missing so many nights of sleep was becoming heavier than the fun we were having in the places we were going to. We began with selling the car, which was one of the things that was gonna take the most energies. We're gonna miss this car. It's an important step towards leaving Dubai. Bye car. Done, sold. Ba then we started analyzing where we could go to live. Our top one is Bali, but since it's very popular and a lot of people are trying to move there, we're gonna look for another place that can be our top two and top three, and eventually can be coming as well a top one. Philippines, cheapest place to travel in the Philippines. Tagaytay, San Antonio. What about Zanzibar? Sri Lanka is open to all tourists. We are looking for some place tropical, which is Mexico. So Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta. And so, in May 2021, we took two months off from work and went to visit Mexico for the first time. If you want to see more about this beautiful place, go check out later the full video on our channel. We are looking for a place where to live after Dubai and our job as flight attendants. Before, we never really considered Mexico being a possibility for us to live in in the future. But now we are reconsidering things. After spending two months traveling in different places in Mexico, we have come to the conclusion that we were gonna move to Puerto Vallarta. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, so we're gonna resign? Okay, let's, let's break okay, it down. Down. Let's break it down. Wait, wait, wait. A lot of thoughts and emotions come into a decision like this one. But this has been something that we've been thinking about for a long time. So here we are at the headquarter of the company, ready to send our resignation okay. email. This is our resignation lunch. So, are we about to do it? Send. Yes. Cheers to our resignation. Bebe. Mm. Do you realize that we just had seven days to do everything? Oh my god, Trump. To start off, we need to buy some bags. Okay, we're rolling. Rolling. <laughs> First thing done, and now let's start selling. Shop Alanati. It actually looks like a little shop. Keep selling stuff. That's good. We're well, morning now. <laughs> Things are starting to disappear. The emptier it gets, the more real the whole. Thing feels. So we're donating a lot of stuff. A lot. It feels amazing. I love it. I love it. It actually opens up my eyes to this is something that I want to do and more people are coming. Hi everyone. Hi, Hi guys. Oh, really? yeah. oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you so very much. much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. And we bet that by now there is something that you would like to know. Why are you leaving? We have some main reasons to that. There are so many, so we're gonna just uh, tell you some and the most important ones. The first one is lack of sleep. 
we already mentioned it yeah many times it has been the, the, the biggest thing over the past five years a second thing would be as well health but it has a bit to do with the sleep but as well waking up at 2 3 a.m it really takes uh, a toll on your body yeah. and uh, yeah i suffered a lot from gastritis things like that that uh, we don't feel is worth it if your body is telling you something it's really important to listen, listen to, to it that. yeah yeah thing number three is that we have projects that we want to develop and uh, we don't have time for those projects while we are working and flying all the time. Yeah, so we are right in the moment needing to prioritize what are the goals we have in life and actually to dare to take the step towards those goals. Yeah, and, and that's a thing that goes along with here. We don't see ourselves on the long run due to different things and to the company as well, which we feel is not the best to work for. There are many details into this, many, many, and I'm sure you want a lot of explanations and we want to give it to you and we're going to make a full video of why we are leaving with the, all the explanations because, yeah, I think it's really good for people to know as well that maybe want to join or who are just interested or curious about our lives and our decisions. So that's coming. It's coming soon. Okay, continue. Obviously, all the uniforms that we have, we need to give it back to the company. So we are coming back to the uniform store to leave it there. It's crazy that once again, we are here about to pack and we are separate in the apartments, me here and Natalie in hers. Hopefully packing this time and not eating a pizza. We are packing for Mexico once again, but this time it's gonna be a little bit different because we're not just packing for two months, but we're packing for longer. Wow. I'm in pure confusion now. It's a mess, not only here, but even in the living room. It's crazy, we have two days left. And another one. This is the packing that I'm the most scared of. Yeah, I want to send it with the cargo. I need one more bag. You need one more bag? It's not possible, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm trying. Then I'm like, okay, okay, I can close it now. I see that I still have three drawers to empty. <laughs> See ya! Oh, why didn't I do that before? So we're going somewhere, we don't even know if we're gonna live there for what's going on. Yeah. So, really, I, I'm, I'm flipping out. <laughs> <laughs> we're lost. Mapping my progress. What happens next? Let's wrap the max with what happens next. Later that night. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't it feel emptier? It feels, yeah, a lot. And oh my god, there's like an echo. Um, yeah. Very mixed feelings. Huh? One of them is tiredness. Taking the last things to send home with the cargo that we're not bringing to Mexico with us. Each crew has a certain allowance of kilos depending on how many years that person stayed in the company for a very cheap price. This cargo process took longer than expected. And this is the lunch time that we can afford. But at the end, everything went well. Well, cargo done. But you need to run because it's the last day. We have no more time. No more time. Now we're going to the headquarters of Emirates of the company so we can leave the IDs, all the documents and things that are required. And it is our last day. <laughs> it's the last oh time my God. we're gonna enter these doors. Oh my gosh. Let's take a moment. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Shall we?
the last entrance. <laughs> uh -huh. We got our full medical report of these five years. We closed our bank account. We left our IDs and documents. Well, now going out from here for the last time and not coming back. Okay, it's only 2.20 in the morning and we need to be in the airport at uh, 6, let's say. So, but yeah, we just finished. How do you feel? We're good. We're, I mean, obviously, leaving, leaving a life here after such a long time. Yeah, more than five years. Wow. And uh, yeah, mixed feelings. There's a bit of stress for the flight. There's excitement. There's a fly. We'll go to sleep and we'll see you in three hours. It's uh, quite intense, the feeling of closing everything now. See ya room. See ya. Just a room, just a house, you know, yeah. Wow, there's so much behind it, there's so much of experiences lived here and so much for what's coming next. Let's let our journey of 29 hours begin. <laughs> <laughs>